What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make your own parallel bars. Uh, the ones I'm going to make are fairly short. Uh, they're going to look like those perfect push-up bars. Uh, but one thing why I don't go out and buy those for 10 bucks is because they're slanted at an angle and I don't like that. I want my uh, to be level. That's how I'm going to build them. And they're going to be small. Um, I know a lot of people build them to about uh, more like 12 inches tall, anywhere from between 12 inches tall to like I've seen 18 or 20 inches, which is just about above uh, average knee height. Um, depends on what you want to use them for, how you want to train on them, and things like that. Um, I am going to make a taller pair later down the road, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to make some parallettes uh, out of PVC pipes right at home. Easy. This is pretty much all you're going to need is your PVC pipe. I bought one 10 footer since mine are going to be short. A 10 foot stick is more than enough. I will have leftovers and you need all your connectors. Um, and then you need a, something to cut them with. I have a little saw and then my tape measure and a marker to make my measurements and then We'll get cutting down. Here I got all my pieces cut up, all my connectors laid out. Um, I had put it together earlier already. Some of the uh, little end caps were hard to take off because it's uh, such small pieces. Uh, so just to kind of name some of these pieces so you know what they are. This is a simple end cap with a uh, simple end cap with a slip in, make sure it's not threaded. You will need eight of those total. This is a T connector. Uh, most of the time, I haven't seen any threaded ones. I've always seen them slip ins. You will need four of those. And these are 90 degree connectors. <clears throat> Same thing, make sure they're slip ins, non threaded. Um, you will need four of those I have so when you're using the parallel bar this is the bar that you'll be grabbing or resting your hands on um, you'll need to cut two of those right here is my leg you'll need to cut four of those and then here is the feet you will need to cut eight of those so a few things I wanted to show you was uh, how when you cut your pieces how the connectors will add to your length now if you remember my feet which you need eight pieces of I only cut at three inches because I don't need them to be long the, the rising part that will give the height I cut at four and three quarters of an inch these are going to be very short ones. So, and then the top of the P bars is what you're grabbing. Cut at 12. Now, you grab your T, grab a foot, one of my three inch foots, put it in one side, put the other one in, squeeze them together. One end cap, got your other end cap, push those in. Also you could get some PVC pipe glue if you want to glue them. I'm not going to glue these since these are so little. Um, usually if they're taller, gluing is kind of more ideal, It'll give you a little more stability. Also it depends on your strength and control of whatever you're going to be doing, whether it's dips, handstand, push-ups, planche push-ups, planche training, things like that. Uh, less control you have over yourself on these, you're going to want to have the glue. If you can control yourself really good, glue is not going to be a problem. Also, one good thing about not gluing them is you can simply take them apart and they're a little bit more mobile if they're not glued. Then, take one of my risers, same thing, just pop that in. And we're human, we're not machines. So everything is gonna be 
maybe possibly slightly off. You can always go and readjust it. Even when you glue it, you still got some time before your glue settles in. So that's pretty much basic and simple. Get your top of your P bar, connect that in. Get your other connector. Make sure they're in there nice. Just eyeball it, you know, kind of do your best to eyeball it straight. Get my other riser in. Push it in. My other foot. And in. And connect the other foot to your base. There you have it. One parallel. I'm just going to make one because you only need to see how to make one. The other one is made in the same exact manner. Now one thing I also wanted to show you was, remember, I cut each foot at 3 inches, this at 4 and 3 quarters, and this at 12. Now we'll see how long it'll add up to with the connectors and the caps. From end to end, so I went from 3 inches on each side, which is pretty much 6, to 9 and a half inches on the width of my legs. So you could say um, your feet uh, with the connectors and everything, it'll add 3 and a half inches when it's all connected. Um, this piece, my riser, was cut at only 4 inches. And I have eight and three quarters of a height. So that's what four and no, I cut this at four and three quarters, this riser piece, so added four inches to it. Alright, I cut the top of the parallel bar at twelve, comes in at sixteen, so that's another four inches. So just uh, I just really wanted to show you that. That way you can keep in mind something when you're making them, um, you know, my first ones, I wanted them to be about 16 inches tall. So I cut my risers at uh, 16 inches and then I was like, oh man, this thing is a lot taller than I thought it was because it was more like 20. Um, and my feet were nowhere near wide enough as well. Um, so hopefully this helps you. Uh, it's a very easy um, training tool to make. Um, I bought my pieces and everything at Osh. I'd say shop around because uh, the other sets that I made I bought at Home Depot or Lowe's and I it was like maybe all together like five to ten dollars cheaper. It was about thirty dollars for everything at Osh. I think it was like 20, 15, 20, about 18, 20 bucks at Home Depot, I recall. And um, also one thing, all my pipes are the same size. Uh, I used inch and a quarter. I'm five foot eight, so that works perfect for me. If you are, I'd say somewhere around, happen to be kind of a smaller person or a kid, I'd go with one inch pipes. Or if you're a really, I mean, even if you're a really big person, inch and a quarter is a fairly uh, good size for your grip width and everything like that. Uh, if you want to go for a little bit more kind of grip training style, you can go inch and a half. If you want to, you can go all out and go uh, two inches. Uh, those are a lot harder to grip. But uh, hopefully this helps you out. I know there are a lot of other videos. This is just a couple videos you can do. Uh, exercises you can do with your parallettes. Uh, simple push up. Go down. You can do really deep ones and go down below your arms. Go all the way up. You can uh, walk your feet in between. Which is good flexibility, agility type training. Make sure when you go out, tense. Come in, keep that core tense. Go in, go out. A good video I learned from Tap Brothers. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Planch training. 